For my next trick, I will need a normal pack of plain cards, or better to say, I have here a pack of 10 cards, which can be shuffled, and for this trick, I need a spectator. Now, I'm going to give the cards to the spectator, and I want the spectator to deal the cards one by one on the table. They can be facing down, facing up, facing up, facing down, uh, however, the spectator wants to. And whenever the spectator stops, he takes the remaining cards in his hand turn them over and just drop them on the tip on top of the remaining cards. So I'm ex explaining it one more time. Deal the cards on the table however you wish, okay? And then stop whenever you want to, take the remaining cards, flip them over and drop them on top of the pack. So the spectator can do this as many times he or she wants to. So let's do this very quick. Okay, so we have her completely mess. Now, I'm going to, or the magician is going to take the cards, the spectator can do this of course too, and we separate the pack into two piles with each five cards. Now, I want the spectator to pick one of these two piles. Okay, it's a really free choice, let's say he wants to take this pile, okay? Now, I want the spectator to decide which pack we should turn over, okay? So it's up to the spectator, let's say he wants to turn over his own pile. Now I'm explaining what we have to do. Now first of all we are going to do four, let's say, moves, okay? And one move looks like that. You just take the top card and place it underneath the pack, okay? So the spectator starts, he does the first move, I'm going to do the second move, the spectator does the third move, and I do the fourth move. Now, we have here two facing down cards on top, the spectator has the queen of diamonds and I have, oh, the queen of hearts, a perfect match. Now, is this coincidence or is this magic? Now, we have to do three moves. So the spectator does the first move, I do the second move and the spectator does the third move. So the spectator has the two of spades on top and I have here the two of clubs, again, a perfect match. Now we have to do two moves. So one move and two moves. I have the Ace of Hearts, the Spectator has the Ace of Diamonds and another perfect match. Now we have to do one move and that's basically the end. So the Spectator does one move, the Ten of Hearts, and I have here the Ten of Diamonds, another perfect match. And of course we are left with one card, the Three of Clubs and the Three of Spades. Perfect matching cards. <laughs> So, for this trick, you will need 10 cards, or in other words, you will need 5 pairs. Now, in this case, I've already done that, okay, so I have here 5 pairs. As you can see, I have here 2 black ones, the 2 black 5s, the 2 red 10s, the 2 red 5s, the 2 uh, black 3s, and on top I have the 2 red aces. So, this should be the setup. So, the cards, the pairs, are in the same position always. Once you are in this order, you just place the other cards on top of the other ones and you're ready to get started. Now first of all, you have to shuffle the cards, okay, and you, you're just allowed to give the cards a cut. Now since this looks not that good, I prefer to hold the cards in this grip, so I'm assuming to do the overhand shuffle, and I just take several cards from the top and I drop the remaining cards right on top. Okay, so it looks like uh, the overhand shuffle, but I'm just cutting the cards in a different way. And if you do this in a fluently way, it will look like the overhand shuffle. Okay, and once you're done, you give the cards to the spectator. Now, you explain to the spectator how he is going to shuffle the cards. Okay, I explained it in the performance, so just watch my performance one more time. But I'm going to explain it one more time right here. So the spectator should take cards one by one uh, from the top of the pack and he should place them facing up or facing down on the table. Okay, and he can do this as many times he or she wants to. And whenever he wants to stop, he stops, he takes the remaining cards in his hands, turns them over and drop them on top of the pack, just like so. Now one more time, let's say one more time, so he can turn over the cards and drop the remaining cards right on top. Now let's say this pack here is finished. Now the magician takes the cards and separates the pile into uh, two piles with five cards. Okay, and now the spectator can choose one of those 
piles. Let's say he wants this pile and you get this pile. Now the spectator has to choose if you should turn over your pile or if she or he should turn uh, over his or her pile. Now let's say the spectator wants to turn over the magician's pile. Now you explain that you're going to make four moves, then three moves, then two moves, and then one move. And the move looks like that. You just take a card from the top and place it underneath the pack. Okay? And you have to remember, the spectator is going to start. Okay? So if you say four moves, the spectator does the first move. If you say three moves, the spectator does the first move. Okay? So it's very important. Now, let's say the spectator starts, four moves, one move, Two moves, three moves, and four moves. Now, the spectator has a ton of diamonds on top, and if you turn over your card, it's going to be the perfect match. Now, you do the same thing with three moves one move, two moves, and three moves. And as you can see, the two red aces. Now, two moves, one move, two moves, and as you can see, the two red fives, and one move by the spectator. We have the two fives on top, and of course, last but not least, the three, the two black trees. So that was basically the explanation for this trick. I hope you enjoyed it, and before I end this video, I want to thank Migo da Silva, who decided my channel this second time. I'm going to put the link to his channel in the description box below. So thank you, Miguel, for designing my channel. You're a very talented guy. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this trick, and I'll see you next time.